I was telling people like there are dead bodies over there and nobody believed me. You can see that growing memorial just outside the concert venue behind me. The, the brother of one of the people who was trampled to death said that you come to concerts to have a good time, not to die. This morning, grieving families are asking what went wrong here and who's accountable. Travis! Multiple lawsuits against Travis Scott, Live Nation, and even rap superstar Drake filed after the Astroworld Music Festival in Houston turned deadly. <laughs> Officials launching a criminal investigation into the chaotic concert that left at least eight people dead and many others hurt. 50,000 fans gathering to see rapper Travis Scott, a Houston native and Astroworld founder, perform. As he took to the stage around 9.15 p.m., the crowd, as seen in this Apple Music live stream, pushing their way forward, forcing people into the barricades. Our barricade even started to break, yeah, and the security to had to come over to us and, like, start strapping the rails. People unable to move, some collapsing to the ground. 19-year-old Quentin Savage was trampled on while trying to pull his brother out of a human body pile. Crowd chanting, stop the show. Scott still performing throughout the chaos. In this video, a seemingly unconscious man is carried through the crowd as Travis Scott looks on nearby. At one point, Scott even seemingly acknowledging an ambulance on the scene. It's an ambulance in the whoa, whoa. He noticed some people were like passed out. But as he resumed, fans are heard pleading for help. This woman climbing the stage platform, pleading with the camera crew to stop the show and help. A security guard lost consciousness after being pricked in the neck by a substance requiring Narcan to be revived. By 9.38 p.m., police declaring the scene a mass casualty incident. Shortly after, Scott pausing his song Skeletons to acknowledge someone in distress. We need somebody to help him. Somebody passed out right here. But police and medics seem tending to fans even as the show carries on for nearly 40 more minutes. Amidst the chaos, Drake joins Scott on stage, memorials honoring the victims with flowers and grieving notes. He was talking to everyone how excited he was to be there and to go. And he was saving up money to go with his best friend Jacob, who also passed away. A massive legislative victory. The resolution is adopted. After months of back and forth, Friday night, the House passing the bipartisan infrastructure bill, one half of President Biden's Build Back Better agenda. We took a monumental step forward as a nation. And we've just, we're just getting started. They'll see the effects of the bill, this bill, probably starting within the next uh, two to three months as we get things shovels in ground. It is a bill that's paid out over a number of years. The bill, drawing support from 13 Republican members of Congress against the six progressive Democrats who opposed the bill because it wasn't tied to the larger social spending package. Democrats still arguing what should be included in the other $1.75 trillion plan to address universal preschool, childcare, home health care for the elderly, and efforts to combat climate change.